Several people have asked me about the uh, rotisserie and how I build it. And I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. I went to uh, Harbor Freight and I bought a couple $50 engine stands and just chopped them up and made them work for what I wanted. Um, actually, let me take you up to the front and show you how I modified the... I actually, I cut the head off and I put a bigger pipe in there. I wanted a longer pipe and so I could set the set screws or set bolts in there. Uh, I also chopped the post up, took some old angle and some scrap metal and made an extension so I could raise the head up a little bit. The, there's, I thought about using maybe a pillow block bearing, something like that, but then I just, just said, you know, it's not, this thing doesn't need to be that fancy. So I just took a smaller tube. It's probably got about an eighth of an inch of, um, you know, play in there so I can move this thing around a little bit. And then I welded uh, a U-joint. I just went on eBay and I think for 15 bucks, I got two U-joints for a Subaru and uh, had those sent to me. And then I took the plate for the engine mount and uh, actually I chopped these uh, tubes off and then I saved that piece and put, I, I attached it to a piece of flat metal. So actually this thing will adjust even further up and down by having this additional piece in here so I can raise and lower it. And I, th I think I'm actually gonna raise this a little bit higher. It does clear the top of the cabin when I swing it over, but it's only about a half an inch. And I wanna, I wanna get that up a little bit. So probably what I'll do is put a floor jack um, underneath that this that that piece of that piece of black tube right here that came with the kit when it was um, delivered in the crate and I'll just put a floor jack underneath that and then loosen these up and I'll raise it up a little bit um, modified the post a little bit with some angles and then at the bottom you can see I've got a spine that runs all the way down to the back and attaches to the other engine mount rotisserie stand and that's just some uh, two inch tube I originally tried to put it on top, you can see right here these two angles, I tried to put it on top but that just raised that another two inches and then you had some angle on top of that and then another two inches, so you know I had four inches that were impeding on my uh, rotisserie so I had to, I went ahead and just changed everything and I moved it so it's all underneath and then you can just slide it, you can just slide this thing up and down and uh, adjust it how far how close you want it to be away from the from the frame so those came in six foot sections and i just attached those i've got about i've got three six footers so that's 18 feet all together and each one of them goes underneath the stand by about two feet so i've probably got total total uh width between the two stands is going to be about 14 feet um, and then on the back, here's how I attach the, the tail section. Same concept with the big tube, little tube, U-joint. And I took a piece of flat metal. And then I just attached, put these, I welded these tabs to a tube. And I attached the tube with some uh, U-bolts. And I just pushed those bolts through there where, where the uh, rudder attaches to the back of the airplane. So, um, and that's that's where the U-joint comes in handy because I've got this angle and this compensates. You don't even feel it when you roll it. The only thing I don't, that I didn't do with this is it's not totally balanced. So it is a little top heavy when I start to roll it, but that's okay. I mean, I've got it locked on both ends with these, with these bolts. So, um, but there you go. That's how I did it.